This was released last year, and this was released 16 years ago. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage, and this video is going to be another Buffy unboxing of this action figure this time. This is the Diamond Select Toys Graduation Day Deluxe Buffy action figure. And um, yeah, it's pretty awesome, so check it out. <laughs> Hey guys, before we dive straight into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads and leave a like, leave a comment, all that stuff down below. Uh, right, so let's dive in. This is a Buffy action figure unboxing video, so we are going to get this figure out of this clamshell packaging. But first, let's take a look at the packaging on the outside. So, here you go. We've got Buffy as she appeared in season six, just there on the side. This Buffy is the graduation day Buffy. So she's in her red leather pants. She's got a black leather jacket on. She comes with her Sunnydale High School yearbook. She comes with a couple of spare arms. She's also got a set of handcuffs there, which she uses to handcuff herself to Faith during their big battle in graduation day part one. You know you're not gonna take me alive. Not a problem. Stick around. Right before she stabs Faith with the knife. That was a good fight scene. Very, very good. <laughs> back of the box we've got a look at all the other figures in this collection these were part of the first series of the deluxe action figures they did a willow collection they had a there was a kennedy there was a kendra and then there was also the angel and spike ones as well so there was a whole bunch of different figures to get hold of first series was all buffy and faith let's do the unthinkable and open this package up This was released, Gus, stop, 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 Gus. This was released in 2005, so this is now 16 years old. So it's pretty old, but these were the best ones in my opinion, and I will show you why by comparing it to the SH Fig Arts Wonder Woman figure from 1984. This was released last year, and this was released 16 years ago. I'm gonna compare the two of them so you can see how Buffy actually matches up quite well to the more recent and incredibly detailed Wonder Woman figure. That's for later. Okay, let's open Buffy, do the unthinkable, and unbox this very old action figure. So from a collector's perspective, you wanna keep it looking as, as original as possible. So what I've done is just cut along the bottom of this. Once once she's back in the box, you won't be able to really tell that it's been opened, which is which is which is the idea. So that's that. This actually comes out as well, and it's got even more details about all the other figures that are part of the collection, um, and all the other figures that are not part of the deluxe line, but are part of the the new um, new new at the time Diamond Select figure line. There are loads of pieces in here. This was so exciting at the time. I can't tell you how exciting it was. Being a Buffy fan back in the, the late 90s, the early noughties, just like, it was, there was so much stuff. Nowadays, there is hardly anything new Buffy. Hopefully there's like a resurgence of, of Buffy nerds now that Buffy is on Disney Plus and uh, we can get some more Buffy action figures, Buffy merchandise, Buffy t-shirts and everything. Yeah, I, I I miss those days. Those days were so easy. So she doesn't actually come with very many accessories. First thing here is the Sunnydale High yearbook, which is slightly burnt. There you go, you can see. The future is ours and it's the, it looks exactly like it did on the show. It's a little book, but you, it doesn't open or anything. It's literally just a bit of plastic that <laughs> looks like the book. Then she comes with the spare arms. You don't really need to see the spare arms, but I'll show you anyway. So if you wanted to take off her jacket and give her just a sleeveless like tank top, then you can take the jacket out and then put the new arms on and you've got a little tank top wearing Buffy. Then she's also got in her hand, she's got her little high school diploma just there as well. And as you can see right now, it's, I think it's focusing on her face. Her face is pretty good. I think her face is good. It looks like Sarah Michelle Gellar. It's not entirely accurate, but it does look a lot like her. So I'm pretty impressed with it for the time that this was released. It, like that was a long time ago. And I think that's pretty good. I literally can't believe I'm doing this. You know, back in the day, I actually had every single Buffy action figure that was ever released. Like I collected all of them. So yeah, I had every single one of them and I loved them all so much. I've just pulled off her leg. Her leg is broken. 
<laughs> oh no. The middle part of the joint on her leg has just snapped in half. Well, it kind of just goes back on. I mean, it's not going to be entirely secure, but it's back, it's back on. I'll get some super glue, I'll super glue it. There is Buffy. Buffy in all her Buffy glory. She can stand on her own. She's got a lot of articulation and the hair is kind of like rubbery. It moves a little bit. So you get a good amount of movement in her, her head and her neck and everything. Her legs bend at the knee really far back, so she's... She's very bendable, very poseable. Anyway, so she bends a lot, she's got a lot of movement, and um, yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty damn good, not gonna lie. I think facially, it does look a lot like Sarah Michelle Gellar. It's been, um, it's painted on, so it's obviously, it's, it's a paint job. The difference between the Buffy and the Wonder Woman is that the Wonder Woman face is printed on rather than painted on. It's all done with like lasers and everything to make it like 100% accurate. So the two of them standing side by side, they have very, very similar heights. Wonder Woman's probably just a tiny smidgen taller. There is a lot more detail going on in the Wonder Woman costume, but sh her costume was more detailed anyway with the, the armor and everything. But looking at the two of them side by side, consider one of them was released in 2020 and the other one was released in 2005 there is 15 year difference between this being made and this being made and I honestly think that it's for, for its time this was well ahead of its time Buffy looked great and she still does look great it looks like Sarah Michelle Gellar not to the same level of detail as this looks like Gal Gadot but you can see that that it's it's a good it's a good comparison it's a good side by side she's they're both very, very detailed. They both look really awesome. And there we go, there is Buffy without her jacket. She's just chilling there with her arms right out. She does look good, even with her arms out like that. She's got a tiny little waist. She's um, she's articulated at her rib cage as well, so you can, you can twist her right the way around if you wanted to give her a full-on exorcist moment. I do wish that we had like a new Buffy figure that was to this level of detail though. This would be really cool because this Wonder Woman is so flexible. She's so crazy detailed. So if there was ever to do a Buffy with this level of detail, I think it would sell like hotcakes. I don't know how hotcakes sell, but they would. it would sell really, really, really well. So that there is the Graduation Day Buffy from 2005 and the Wonder Woman 1984 from 2020. And yeah, I, th I think Buffy definitely holds up to this day. So that is the Deluxe Buffy from Graduation Day by Diamond Select Toys from 2005. Let me know your thoughts on this Buffy action figure in the comments down below. If you collect Buffy action figures, what is your favorite figure that you've got in your collection? I am currently on a Buffy rewatch. I'm in season four now. I'm getting really into my Buffy stuff again, and I'm trying to hold myself back from buying loads of Buffy stuff that I used to own back in the day. Give me words of encouragement. I will see you in the comments, and I'll see you in an upcoming video. One of them will be a Buffy unboxing of the end of days Buffy Deluxe action figure. So stick around to check that out, um, where we'll be taking a closer look at the end of days Buffy with everything that she comes with. Thank you so much for watching and um, yeah, goodbye. Bye.